Hello, my name's Mark and I am G-Code Tutor. And I'm here today with Practical Machinist to go over some maths that we may have learned at school and forgot that we need in the machine shop. And that's the basics of trigonometry. So in this lesson, we're gonna be focusing on using sine, cosine, and tangent in regards to a right angled triangle. So here is our right angled triangle, and the little square in the bottom there designates that it's 90 degrees on the bottom right corner of that triangle there. So the longest length is always known as the hypotenuse. Uh, this doesn't matter which way our triangle is up, always the longest length is the hypotenuse, and this never changes. But what does change is the name of the other two lengths when we're working with trigonometry. So this symbol is known as theta, and this is our angle. And it designates an angle that we may know or we may not know that we're trying to work out. So when working with trigonometry, the length opposite the angle is known as the opposite, and the length next to the angle is known as the adjacent. Now, if our angle is over on the other side and we're working with the other angle of our triangle, then the length next to it is known as the adjacent and the one Opposite is known as the opposite. So that what we call the lengths change depending on where our angle is and the angle that we're working with. So we only work with one angle when working with trigonometry and where that angle sits dictates to us what we name the other two lengths, that is not the hypotenuse. Okay, so a good easy way to remember sine. So if we are trying to find the sine of our angle, then the eyeball looks at the sine. So we know that it's opposite over hypotenuse. And with sine and cosine, we use the hypotenuse. And with tangent, we use the adjacent and opposite. So a good way to remember sine is the eyeball is looking at the sine, therefore it's opposite over hypotenuse. So cosine is the other one. That's adjacent divided by hypotenuse gives us the cosine of the angle that we are looking for. And with tangent, as I was just saying, tangent is our opposite over adjacent. So sine and cosine both use the hypotenuse and tangent uses the other two lengths. So I tend to find this helps me remember which order they go in when we're trying to remember which order that these equations that we need so we can work out which equation we need for what particular use we need. Okay, so there's an easy way to remember all of this and that is Sokotoa. So Sokotoa is a short way of remembering this equation list. So this means that the so sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, and can, we can remember that by so. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. This is our CAH. And tan is opposite over adjacent. Now putting these together reads Sokotoa. And that's how I tend to remember the order of these equations. But there's other ways we can remember. We have some hold hands, can always have time off anyone. That's what my apprentice instructor taught me when I was an apprentice that we used to use to remember this equations. My old high school teacher taught me some of her children are having trouble over algebra. It's a bit more of a mouthful and I don't tend to remember that one very much anymore. I had to go through my notes to actually remember what I was told back then. And finally, one I like and the one I do tend to use and the one I normally teach my apprentices is some old hippies caught another hippie tripping on acid. So these are four different ways we can remember the order of these equations. So if we know we, we need to use sine, we can work it out from there that sine is the opposite over hypotenuse by remembering any one of these ways. Now in the machine shop, you probably find you need to use trigonometry almost on a daily basis. I certainly do when programming G-code at the machines. So these little tips I still use now to remember which way round I need to put these equations when I'm working out my angles. So if you want to learn more about machine shop maths, trigonometry and geometry and any of the maths that we may need in a machine shop, I have an epic nine hour maths course over on my website that's very affordable to teach you how to do this and to refresh your memory on machine shop maths. So pop over to gcodetutor.com to learn more.